Hello my treasure, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm gonna talk to you about something that I have just returned from. I'm still almost in full cosplay, I did change my wig out but I just returned from Heroes Made in Asia which is a anime themed convention here located in the Netherlands. I have been going to anime themed conventions for I think now back very hard since I guess I was 15 or 16 so I think the first time I went to an anime convention here in the Netherlands was when I was 15 years old but well, we just celebrated my birthday so you do the math how long I have been going to anime conventions and you know even though I uh, along the way you know got a job got responsibilities got kids I still remained true to uh, my passion as you can see it did go a bit down actually when the kids were very small actually ever since also my kids have been born they have been going with me to conventions and both of them like to cosplay well actually maybe I I don't I don't I don't think I forced them but you know when they were small I did put them in cosplay I did dress them up as a couple of characters I think I started off with fairy tale and they also did some my little pony cosplay but yeah we returned today from heroes made in Asia it was a two-day convention somewhere in the more south region I guess of the Netherlands I don't know I'll show it here on the map and we also always when we have to travel a bit longer than half an hour i know it doesn't sound long right half an hour but half an hour is long if you're traveling with yourself your kids and also your mom and my mom is in a wheelchair so therefore we need to always make sure that places are accessible for wheelchairs and that we also have if it's far away uh, some conveniences around us which accommodate both kids and also people who are in wheelchairs so most of the times so when we go to conventions which are longer than two days we stay at a hotel so we stayed at a hotel which was actually opposite of the convention center it was a brand new hotel and there were some technical difficulties there but we'll get to that later so we arrived at the first day fully dressed up in cosplay and my gosh we were there i think an hour after it opened yeah i think you know we went at 10 a.m and we arrived there just before 11 a.m and the convention center opens at 10 a.m we had a weekend bracelet or when we came in you know we got a weekend bracelet there was no queue or anything so that was really nice i have been actually to this convention i think now three times there were no queues um it was very well organized within a couple of seconds we actually got our bracelets and we got in and you enter and then the first thing you see is of course the dealer's room and oh my gosh the dealer's room there it's so big it's very nicely set up it was already at 11 a.m very busy <laughs> so yeah considering of course like i said we are fully dressed up in cosplay. My kids were dressed up as two characters from Genshin. Sorry, I forgot the names. My kids are now gonna scream at me. And uh, my mom was dressed up as a Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. And I was dressed up as Chiguri from Blue Lock. And yeah, so when we entered, there were so many cosplayers already there. And I think there was an abundance of Genshin Impact. And my kids were through the roof they love Genshin Impact so this convention for them was already 100% win and we hadn't even you know like done any of the activities and the activities already started very early and there was like I think on the main stage they did like a panel where I don't know they did like can you guess the voice actor which was really funny it was hosted by somebody who's according to my kids kind of famous on TikTok sorry <laughs> if if by chance you watch this video right sorry i didn't don't don't know you but um they hosted it very well it was it was very nice there were also some other activities on the main stage but we didn't focus a lot on the main stage because when we entered the convention center actually the first thing we did was actually go for food because we were hungry 
we didn't have breakfast and at convention centers if you might know you know like once 12 o'clock hits especially for the dutch people right i i don't know what it is but <laughs> we dutch like to eat at 12 o'clock sharp right so it's lunch hour between 12 and 1 we need to eat <laughs> so we first went and got some fries we also got some boba i don't drink boba but my kids love it and then we also got some uh, dragon breath and oh my god my kids hated it. My oldest didn't even try it, but I did. My mom did. My mom and I really liked it, actually, also the taste. But the effect of Dragon Breath is really, really funny, right? So it's with a liquid, liquid ice. I don't know. It's like uh, corn, corn chips that they pour liquid ice on. And when you eat it, you know, like smoke comes out of your nose and out of your mouth. It's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I really recommend it. It was kind of expensive. I think it was like six six euros for a, uh, a small um, small bucket, but you know, it's it's just fun to do, and we had so many laughs. And even though my youngest wanted to try it, she was just you know she didn't like the taste of it, so she's like, no, nah, not not gonna do it. And after that, of course, we went to the dealer's room. So the uh, ground floor was mostly a dealer's room there was also a, a gaming setup there was also i think there was fortnite tournaments and there were some other uh, gaming tournaments there we didn't participate in any of them because we were like you know <laughs> let's not do that there was also something called house of wax where they mimic the ancient i think it was ancient china uh, sorry if i'm mistaken but where they mimic ancient China and there was also, you know, like they also went wrong the convention with a dragon, which was really funny. And uh, yeah, so we also went there and then later on we went upstairs. So there's also an upstairs area where you had the speed dating. Uh, you also had the painting. Uh, where you can, you know, like with everybody who's at the convention, you can paint pieces of art and, you know, like once they are together, it's a whole display. Very funny. We do it at a lot of conventions. There's just this one group that always is there that does it. And most of the times my youngest always um, paints some small stuff. Uh, which she did, of course. And then we also did a uh, activity, which is with, I think they were soybeans, where you had to take to, uh, with your chopsticks, you had to move one soybean to the other <laughs> as fast as possible. It's difficult, okay? Don't judge. <laughs> Don't judge me. So we also did that, and that was also a lot of fun. And most of the time, actually, we spent on taking you know like pictures with other cosplayers which like i said there were so many good cosplayers and my kids are 100 percent a genshin impact fan so the fact that almost the whole lineup of genshin impact was there was you know like for them paradise and now that they've reached you know like almost well one of them has of course and the other one almost reached the teenage age it starts really living for them. Yeah, and then the next day popped along, right? So we did buy some stuff. I'll show that later on. Um, but then the next day uh, came along and of course we had a hotel. So at the end of the convention, we went back to the hotel, which was across the street. The hotel rooms were very nice. Um, it wasn't also that expensive. It was like 140 euros per room per night. And we were of course with the four of us. So it was, it was okay. It included breakfast, which was also really nice. I don't think I have pictures of the breakfast, but the one thing I did hate about the rooms is that the air conditioning wasn't working yet. Also, these hotels come normally with a swimming pool and a gym, but because it was brand new and there were a lot of delays because of course, labor shortage, the pool and also the gym were delayed. So that's gonna open somewhere at the end of this year. So hopefully next year when we go back there, because we are going back there, we can also enjoy after <laughs> the convention, we can also enjoy going to the gym and also to the swimming pool. But one of the things that, you know, with that hotel, it's a very good hotel. However, the beds were horrible <laughs> because somehow the top, le top part of the bed just, you know, like slightly shifted off the bed. So yeah, by the end of the night, you were almost off the bed. 
and the air conditioning wasn't working very well. So sometimes it was hot and sometimes it was ice cold. So yeah, the, the night wasn't all that great. So then, you know, the next day rolled along and all four of us had, you know, like maybe three, four hours of sleep. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't very much fun. So yeah, the second day came along and again, we took some pictures with those players. We did a Mario quiz. Also, uh, my kids actually were approached by one of the staff members there where they handed them a ticket, which said, we really like your, uh, the, the, the attendants really like your cosplay. And we would like to ask you also to join on the cosplay catwalk. So they were like, oh my God. So yeah, they also did the uh, cosplay catwalk, which, you know, as a mom, I'm so proud. <laughs> They also joined the uh, cosplay catwalk and they had so much fun doing that. The cosplay catwalk is uh, available for everybody who is in cosplay. However, um, if you are, don't get the ticket right uh, from the attendant, you need to stay in line very early already to do the cosplay catwalk. If however, you're approached by somebody from the organization and they give you a ticket, then you can, you know, because they got it almost at, you know, like when the cosplay um, catwalk was already halfway through, that's when they got the ticket. So that's why they were allowed also in the queue to walk the catwalk. And then, you know, um, and this is one of the things, right, which I also do wanna, you know, like give some uh, feedback to, you know, like people like me who are into you know like anime manga going to conventions and you know if you need to go if you want to go there with your kids or with somebody who is uh, in a wheelchair or has a disability where you know like additional things are needed most conventions that i go to actually here in the netherlands are very well thought of um there are a couple which you know like there's one at the beach well of course that's not wheelchair accessible we did go with the wheelchair but it's not wheelchair accessible i can tell you that we had uh, we had lots of difficulties there but yeah most of the conventions are very well wheelchair accessible same as with this one it was very well wheelchair accessible all the people there were really nice um i have to say my kids had a blast even though it was very busy the first day the second day actually so today it wasn't very busy or at least not as busy as the other day. So I do recommend if you only want to go one day that and, and you are going with kids who are younger and you know, like all the impressions do go on the second day because most of the times on the first day or the day or the Saturday, right? Uh, it's very busy. And if you are not a seasoned veteran, it can be overwhelming. Uh, my kids are seasoned veterinary <laughs> veterans, so it's not overwhelming for them. But I do always keep in mind that, you know, like safety comes first. And if I feel that something is too crowded, I will take them away from it. Same as with my mom who's in a wheelchair. I will take them out of, you know, like situations where I feel that it's not any more appropriate to be there with kids or with a wheelchair. Also, security was very well. They were all around but you saw them but you didn't see them so that's I, I like that and also the organization in all it was very well done uh i have actually no complaints and like i said i'm going next year because i really like it and then we're gonna go to the final part right and that is the dealer's room because oh my god i got lost again in that dealer's room and then everybody's like how can you get lost in the dealer's room? okay you know what <laughs> i got lost okay because then I saw something and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that later. And then I forgot where it was. And then I had to run around, run around to find it. So, yeah, the dealer's room, it was set up nice. Uh, and also, there was also an artist alley. Um, but I don't know, because it was very busy, right? And when you enter the convention building, the first thing you enter is the dealer's room it's 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 kind of you need to find your way in it um but the selection of uh items there at the dealer's room were great um even for somebody like me who orders a lot of stuff on amazon japan and knows you know like a lot of stores where i can order 
all my merch from and also exclusive merch from and also for a reasonable price. But I have to say, even I found stuff there, which I was like, you know what? Either I cannot buy it because Amazon Japan doesn't want to ship it to me. <laughs> so I need to get it through a different means. Um, or they were just the same price as that I would buy it online. So I really like the selection of items that I could get there. So I'll show you very quickly what we actually got there. We got a lot of, I got a lot of blind boxes. Well, not me, but you know, like these are things that both me and my kids, uh, we got some of the things are already unpacked. So I'll just show pictures of them, but I do still have the boxes here. Uh, so we did get a lot of, uh, uh, what is it? These um, these types of uh, blind boxes. So this one is from 52 Toys. It's the D Baby series. And we actually, or my mom actually got this one. It's the uh, Snow White one. And these were the other ones. And I really like um, the seller actually um, of uh, of these blind boxes. So we've seen that seller actually at multiple conventions. Um, and that seller does something very awesome. So these boxes are priced around 16 to 70 euros, 16 to 17 euros. Um, and that is an okay price here in the Netherlands. I know in the US you can get them cheaper, but you know, import taxes, shipping, just regular taxes are higher here. So these are very reasonable priced. Um, and this seller does something amazing. And that's why these boxes are actually, most of them are actually already opened is that um, they also have a, one of these figures also on top of uh, the blind boxes. And then if you open it there and the figure that is in there is not to your liking and you like the figure more that is on top of the box, you can switch them out. So then you can get, you know, like, so this is what we do, right? So we look at, okay, uh, what figure is on, which box do we want? And is the figure on top something that we might also want? And then we open the boxes and then, you know, we either keep the one which is inside the box or we take the one which is on top of the box. Very well done because that, that you know, like you still have the element of a blind box Yet you also have kind of like a certainty that, you know, like if you don't like the figure which is in there, you can also take the other one and you already know which one that is. So yeah, I really like that. Um, and it also takes kind of like the gambling away element from blind boxes away with it. So way to go seller. You were awesome. You understand the concept of, you know, sometimes being disappointed with what you get in your blind bag. So yeah, so this is the lineup there. I'll, like I said, I'll insert pictures of them. Oh yeah, so then we also have this one. And actually uh, for uh, this one, we switched it out for, this is also from 52 Toys. We switched it out for the one which was on top. And that is, um, I think we got, I don't know which one we got. We got one and that was not the one uh, my mom really liked. She liked this one. I hope you can see it. Um, so yeah, she switched it actually out and thought, you know, I like that one better. So we have another one and this is um, called uh, Little Monsters. I don't know, it's called Little Monsters. It's really cute. These are really awesome. Also from 52 Toys awesome a blind boxes and for this one actually i the lovable bear was on top and we really liked that one but we opted for the one which was inside this box which was enchanting fox it's a really interesting combination of purple and orange um i wouldn't think it would be nice but it looks really really nice and then also we got this one, which is Nimi Z. And um, actually we have already one, well, not from this line, but from another line. This one is from Simon Toys. And this was a funny one. So that doesn't happen a lot, but the one, uh, this one we actually did not open there because this one was on top and we were fine with whatever we would get. We got the one which was also on top. So yeah very funny right most of the times the one on top is not in your blind box but apparently you know if you buy a lot it can happen and then that seller really loves us right <laughs> because we bought more so i bought for myself this one from 52 toys 
It's also the uh, Deep Babies, Disney Babies series. And the one on top was this one, uh, but because I really don't mind any of them and I do not prefer this one, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna keep it closed. I'm gonna open it together with you guys later on. And from the same seller, right, but from a different uh, toy company, which is called uh, Liho Toys, I could not let this one, you know, like sit there and just be like, I'll leave you there. So this is the uh, San Rio claw machine. Also from this one, there was this one on top and there was also this one on top, but because I just, don't mind any of them. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna keep it closed and we're gonna unbox this together. Cause it's just, they're all so cute. Look at how adorable they are. I love them. Another one which I did not open is this one, the Hatsune Miku. You see the guitarist at the front, but the Hatsune Miku figurine blind boxes. So also from this one, I didn't mind any of them. Actually, I can open this one, but I promised my daughter if there is one of the ones that she likes in there, she can have it in her Hatsune Miku display because she has a very cute display with all kinds of Hatsune Miku stuff. And if it's one that she really wants, you know, I'm fine with her putting it in her display, right? So yeah, Oop. <laughs> and I'm throwing with stuff all the time. So I also got this blind box. And then from a different seller, I got this party, uh, party on desk. Uh, Remand blind box. So at the time that I bought this on the first day, uh, he still had three left. Um, I bought one because I thought, you know what, uh, I I didn't know if it was, you know, like a full case where no duplicates were in. So I thought, you know what, I'll buy one. And then the next day I thought, actually, I might want a second one because actually I don't mind getting any when I got a closer look, I don't mind getting any duplicates because I know either my mom or my kids will really like it. But yeah, it was sold out. I did get the box from him. <laughs> it it looks really cool. I, I don't mind any of them. I, I really want them all, so. And then from uh, also that seller where I bought the party on desk, they also had the Remand uh, Sumiko Halloween uh, blind box, which as you can see, it's $7.95. It's a, uh, it's really cute. These are, uh, these are all the designs. You can see. Oh, I really want the coffin. The coffin is so cute. Uh, but I only bought one. He did have a full case, but you know, I was, I was tired. I wanted to go home <laughs> by the time that I bought those, and it was on the second day. So then another remand where I could only buy two. <laughs> And this was actually on the first day and very much in the beginning. So I guess they only still had two left. But these are the Detective Conan or Case Closed rooms uh, from Remand. I, like I said, I am recently very much in love with Detective Conan. I know that Remand has released a couple of lines of them. I actually have, well, I have one. One is on the way and this one is the 2022 release so these ones weren't you know like available anymore on amazon japan uh, but i did manage to snag some up on the uh, convention and really i don't mind which one i get even if i get duplicates because these are just so freaking adorable and then i did something which i do a lot of the times and that is almost buy or well most of the times i buy a full case but almost buy a full case of waivers uh, from uh, this time, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, the Zero movie. These will actually uh, run out very soon, as in, the, you know, like expiry date. So they, they will run out by the end of this month. Um, so actually they were kind of, uh, compared to other stuff that I bought, kind of cheap, uh, which was, you know, like two euros a piece. I know that's way more expensive than they pay in Japan, but again, it's imported, right? And they come with a waiver and a and a card so this one i'm gonna unbox somewhere this week uh because my kids really love the waivers and i really want the metallic cards uh so yeah i think i bought i think 20. no wait well i already opened four right uh, i think these are no 15. i bought 15 of them uh so now you know that i'm broke <laughs> but yeah the jujitsu guys and that uh, waiver uh, with uh, metallic cards. I also got two capsule toys. <laughs> One is from that time I got reincarnated into slime 
and the other one is from the uh, the sixth quintessential something quintessential something those 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 girls that you know like not twins but I don't know no <laughs> uh, sisters so uh, yeah I bought two of these for myself my kids bought a lot of them from Genshin Impact they actually had uh, capsule toy machines there um, which you could buy a token for this one was actually the price that this one was actually on the cheap side <laughs> and this one was actually on the more expensive side but I really wanted to get this one because I really love that time I got reincarnated into slime and then I still have some other stuff left so I'll go quickly go through all of them because um, have I told you that I have a waiver obsession I think I did right oh wait a minute I didn't show you actually what I got in the waivers that I already opened. So I got Gojo. This one is a, uh, is this a sp yeah, this is a, an, a, an SR. So this is a special. Uh, this one is a regular one. And then I got a, uh, a special card. Maki. I love this card. I love these metallic cards. And then I got a S card. So I don't know. S air super super rare and this is just a uh and this is just an s card so this is just a super card i don't know uh and this is an s card uh and you have variants i think there are 24 to collect so there are five of these of these uh seam cards and there are 11 of these and 14 of the regular cards but i haven't had a regular card yet so maybe they're in here i don't know and then, of course, like I said, I have a waiver obsession. So what I did is because I didn't want to buy full boxes, right? Or most of the times I actually don't have even have the option to buy the Bandai candy um, full, you know, like like a full box of it because they just don't want to send it to me. Uh, I don't know why because other, you know, com companies can order it, <laughs> but I can't. Uh, so you know what I did? I bought from all kinds of series. I bought the chocolate wafers. And the thing is, the price is very per package, somewhere between the three euros. So these were cheap, right? These were all two euros a piece, but uh, they vary between the three euros and five euros. <laughs> Knowing how much these wafers actually are in Japan it hurts my little heart. But you know what? I, I was there, so <laughs> I wanted to have fun, and I wanted to, you know, like support those small little businesses um so i got a um this is a card one so this is from uh haikyuu uh, a chocolate or this is a chocolate yeah it's a chocolate waiver there are 33 cards to collect so i will only have one card but at least i will have one card in that set right and then i also have one from attack on titan and this is a vanilla waiver i think and there are 32 cards to collect and i thought you know what Let's just see what is inside that one. Then I also got a Sumiko gummy. So these are not waivers, but gummy. It comes with a card and it comes with gummies. And you can reuse actually the plastic mold that it's in. You can just put chocolate in there once you've eaten the gummy, right? And, uh, you know, like make your own cute little chocolate Sumiko. So I really recommend if you see these to, uh, to get them and to reuse that plastic. Then I also got a Demon Slayer one, um, which, you know, cool, right? Uh, I don't know, what's the expiration date on this one? Okay, so this one, <laughs> I need to uh, open uh, before uh, before June, so that's okay. Then I got another Haikyuu one. This one was 5 euros, so this one was really on the expensive side. But um, this is uh, like the Demon Slayer one, which I also have opened before. These are the gigantic magnets, which come with gum. Um, I love these magnets. So I thought, you know what, let's get a Haikyuu magnet. Because just, you know, for fun. And here we go, a chocolate waiver from uh, My Hero Academia. Um, I'm not into My Hero Academia or anything, but I just I just wanted one. And this is, doesn't come with a card. These actually come with stickers. But you know what, I, I didn't have a waiver yet from My Hero Academia. So I got that one also. And then I got the gummies with a card from Tokyo Revengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, very curious to find out uh, what is inside uh, this one. Card, it's two stickers actually. I said card, but I mean stickers. 
So it comes with two stickers. And then I also uh, bought a uh, BL manga, which uh, it's only $13. I paid 17 euros for it, which uh, why do I always pay so much? But I thought, you know what? Looks cute. It's called Bittersweet. I don't know what it's about, but it looked cute. And I thought, you know what? I need an additional manga because I have read already so much and still need to read so much. And then I have something else in my hand, which I also already opened, or at least I opened two packages. Uh, I still have here two other ones, which are closed. Uh, but I did open actually uh, from something that I mentioned in my uh, birthday video. I um, got a uh, booster pack for Hunter x Hunter and a booster pack for Code Glees. Code Glees? I don't know. Uh, because I thought, you know what, I have the starter packs now. I haven't actually shown you the starter packs yet because, like I said, I had my birthday. Um, we went to Dinosaur Park. It was kids holiday, right? So, uh, and I had a very busy time uh, with my work, <laughs> trying to save millions for my work. So, yeah, I, uh, I, I just, you know, I didn't have time to show and unbox most of my birthday presents and most of the stuff that actually i had on pre-order and was coming in so one of these things were also this one the uh, uh um union arena so like i told in my birthday video i've watched already a lot of uh videos on them hopefully uh in uh, a year from now i know actually how to play this game so let me show you actually what i got in these packs I didn't get, so the, the shiny one is already up front. Uh, so I didn't get a very good one. So I got this one. I got this one. So that's a character card. Got a character card. Got a character card. Uh, I got another character card. I like this one, by the way. Uh, I got an, 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 another character card. Another character card. So I think I got a lot of character cards. I think I only got character cards. I think this is the only event card that I got, so. Yeah, interesting, right? So this is a special. It says also there a special. It's shiny. It's nice. I like shiny. But it's, uh, I don't know. I like my regular cards. So I like them better than the special cards. <laughs> and then from Hunter x Hunter, let me show you. So I think I also have the special one up front. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is an, this is an, uh, yeah, it's an R, it's an R card. I don't know. This is the shiny one, apparently not very special. So I got this one, I got this one, I got this one, and this one, I got this one, <laughs> I got this one, let's censor you, <laughs> I got this one. I got, this is an, uh, I think this is an event card. Yeah, it's an event card, I don't know. And then we're back at this one. So yeah, these were the these were the cards that I uh, that I got. I'm so sad. Should we also open the other ones? Okay, which one am I gonna open? Ow! I just hit myself. Which one am I gonna open? This is a special. Let's open the. Okay, I'm gonna open this one. Let's see. Are we gonna get? Are you? When you're watching this, are you bringing me good luck or are you bringing me bad luck? I need to. Oh didn't open it very well are you gonna bring me good luck or are you gonna bring me bad luck who knows right i get one two three there we go so i got this one i got this one i got this one i get this one don't look so angry i got her i got her okay i got a, i got a lot of girlies I got this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. It's an R. I don't know what the R does. But I got this one as the shiny one. Ooh. Looks awesome. But it's not it's not a rare card. So oh well. But yeah, that was it. Um talking about the heroes made in Asia. Um 
anime convention that I've been to and all the stuff I've bought and things you need to take into account when you go with kids or when you go with people who are disabled. Um, let me know if you like these type of videos, if you actually want to see more of, you know, like, like I said, we go to a lot of conventions, uh, but I, uh, again, I uh, respect my kids' privacy, so I don't want to show too much <laughs> like I did in the past because, you know, they're teenagers, right? So you need to be careful with that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, we say I miss you. Love you. Bye.